So what is grounded theory? And is it really that scary and that difficult to do? The short answer is no, it's not difficult and no, it's not scary. Grounded theory is generally a research methodology. So a way of doing research, which you usually apply uh, to research some underexplored and under-researched phenomena. And the aim of that study is to develop a theory. But here is the first common misconception. That theory does not have to be an actual theory with models and diagrams and everything. It's just a detailed explanation. So arguably something that most researchers try to do anyway, to develop a detailed explanation to understand some phenomenon or experience. And then because the aim is to explore something that's really under-researched, a very common characteristic of a grounded theory study is how inductive it is. So especially uh, when you analyze the data, it's pretty evident that it aims to be very inductive, which means that you definitely don't want to uh, be influenced by any previous models or diagrams. So when you analyze the data, you'll be developing your coding from scratch, your uh, findings from scratch, rather than, for example, adopting a pre-existing a structure or framework for your analysis. And the same can be said about uh, the overall structure of the study. When you uh, talk about your literature, when you develop your uh, data collection methods, uh, which tend to be in-depth interviews or focus groups, you also don't want to be too influenced by previous findings. It aims to be, it's supposed to be very inductive. Partly because there aren't many previous findings, like I said, it's specifically for very under-researched phenomena. And then finally, another common characteristic of a grounded theory study is theoretical sampling. can be quite overwhelming, again, just the name itself, but what it really is, is that as you're analyzing, analyzing the data and you have some emerging thoughts or, or theories, uh, you may want to, you don't need to, but you may want to recruit more people to test these theories. So let's imagine that I begin to suspect that people with less work experience struggle more. Maybe I'm exploring experiences of people in a certain workplace. However, because I don't have too many people in my sample with less work experience, I never thought of that when I was beginning my analysis, I may want to recruit more people, specifically those who have less work experience. But like I said, and that's very important, this is entirely optional, just like many other characteristics of a grounded theory. So maybe you don't need to do that. And this is another common misconception that you have to take every single box uh, on that list, where uh, the truth is you don't have to. So as any other methodology, you can be very flexible, you can adopt certain elements of a grounded theory, but it doesn't mean that you have to follow every single uh, thing on that list. 